Interior, family diner, dining room, day. A crowd has lined up at the counter and places lunch orders. Snail enters behind the long line, surveys the faces, finds Emma sitting at a distant table alone. She sees Snail and guffaws through her chicken sandwich bite. <laughs> if you're going to stalk me, you better come the fuck through. Crowd hears this and gives Snail cut eye as he closes the gap, gestures to the opposite seat. Emma rolls her eyes. You have exactly 15 seconds. Snail nods and sits opposite her as she goes on chewing. Please come back to prison. We need his confession today or it's all over. Yes, I told Liberty Pasta Clown was your fault. Yes, our jobs are on the line. But I thought about your debt and I feel bad. Emma bursts into laughter and almost chokes. Oh, my savior. Thank you. How's this for empathy? I can kick your stupid fucking ass, Agent Miller, and it would probably be healthy for you because you are obsessed with my pain and stares at and the clowns and societies, but you never really talk about your pain, do you? I see who you are. That sauce went crazy. You'll honestly feel better. Ready? Snail considers her assessment. This is a lot to absorb. Ready for? Off Snail's confusion. Exterior, family diner, parking lot, day. A dirty lot. Snail is reticent and talks to hide his nervousness as Emma peacefully stretches her legs. I couldn't help my dad with his issues. Or my wife with hers. And so maybe not everyone can be saved. But we have to try. And maybe if I can save the killers and you, then... And anyway, if we don't, we will lose our jobs. Is this Fight Club? Start stretching. Maybe millions of years of deep mammalian ancestral violence and insanity makes it difficult to define what human really is. What if that's our core? Jesus Christ! I didn't grow up drinking canned milk and then spend seven years arresting perverts in Montreal so that I could be condescended to by some overeducated, positive psych major about the marketplace of abstractions. Please consider this your crash course in the marketplace of the really real. You don't seem very embodied. Has someone said that to you before? You need to understand that you're not stronger or smarter than I am in any way whatsoever. You have chauvinistic hang-ups, you get me? Snail starts to shake his head no, but slows and nods yes. If you come back, then okay. Okay? Okay, I hate it, but I'll fight you. All agents spar. It's not weird. I am a psychological specialist. And I am a street king. Square up. <laughs> Amateur. Emma squares her feet into a bouncy kickboxer's ply and then raises her fists eyebrow level. All refined. Second nature. Snail locks his legs, drags up his dukes in a frightful slop. One. Two. Ah! Snail launches at Emma in an aggressive panic, throws a jab. But Emma dodges and slams Snail with one hook to his head, sending Snail crashing to the ground in a limp, limby pile. Emma stands victorious, the one-hit knockout champion. Snail's face on the pavement, unconscious and drooling. Fuck, did you die? Snail? Her question echoes out over Snail's blissful face as we end Act 2. <laughs>